Stevie Woods with the Philadelphia Tribune. How are you guys? Doing well. How are you? Absolutely. I so love this. It's like great going back memory lane. I used to watch the show with my sister, who's now a full grown uh, adult adult. And um, when I told her I was doing this, she said, no way. So talk about that, because you have a whole generation now has an excuse to go back and, you know, revisit the original and then also watch this. Let's start with you, David. Absolutely. Yeah, that's the name of the game. Exactly what you just said. How do you make a show that embraces the millions of people all over the world who grew up on the show and who loved that show, but at the same time, try to welcome in a whole new audience? And, and that was the question on Selena and I's mind for years. And as we developed this with Disney, that was the, the, the leading question in our mind. How do you balance those things? For Selena and I, what was really important was making a show that's in the spirit of the original show. We very much wanted to embrace our age and embrace what mattered about the original show and hand that love down to a new generation. And at the same time, invite the original fan to come on that journey with us and bring their kids in now or bring their nieces and nephews or bring their children and get to experience the, the handing off of, of, of that love to a whole new generation. But also they're going to enjoy it and watch it with them. It'll be a true co-viewing experience. The, um, the the show is really rooted in uh, not only the spirit of the original, but also a lot of the plot. So the original fan will feel a big warm hug while watching this show, and new fans will get welcomed into this world and themes from the original. Absolutely. Denise, you're the new girl, uh, and you are coming in with a bang. You're not coming in quietly. Talk about how much fun it is to play a wizard. Uh, it's so much fun from like, you know, having getting to do like the imagination of like all the spells and the magic and everything. Um, and then also like each, you know, week I'm like thinking, OK, what is Billy going to dress up as? What's her hair going to be like? It's super fun because she has all these different hairstyles and you know, all these different like clothes. I really like her style. She's a little wizard with style, she said before. <laughs> Um, it's just so much fun to play her, especially since I feel like I have so much in common with her. And I feel like as I'm going, you know, more into this journey, um, and as Billy is growing as a Russo, I feel like I'm also growing as myself as Jeannie Slam Brown. So it just feels so surreal to be able to play a character that is almost so much not like me, but almost so much like me, if that makes sense. So it's just like, I feel like she's a real person in me. Like, I don't even, you know, think of her as like, oh, it's just, you know, the character that I play. I genuinely think of her as like a sister or a friend. So, you know, sometimes I'll find myself like basically talking to myself like, so how was your day, Billy? You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, she said, I feel very safe with playing her and it just it's such a fun journey to play so yeah i was just saying you know we we had this conversation a couple of us there are not a lot of shows for kids in this age it's like really really young and then you skip all the way up to teenagers yeah. um david especially as you're developing because you were that young person like janice what made you say okay we really want to make sure that we reach that tween audience that audience that's in between that's in middle school trying to figure out, you know, and, and where do they belong, you know, as you picking your friends group and your style and what you like and all those other things now on top with social media, what were some of the things that you wanted to make sure that were kids positive and making, letting kids know it's okay to be yourself? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what made the original show special is that we didn't back off of kind of going there in deeper ways for young people and that core demo of the original show is also who we seek to capture with this new show and that was one of the north stars for 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 myself and for selena was trying to speak to that audience again um i think it's a really uh, great time to to get to tackle a lot of the unique challenges that kids deal with we have some great episodes that that bring in some of the struggles that kids are dealing with these days and throw magic into the mix and it kind of exacerbates the problem but also gives you a more meaningful ending and uh, we're definitely not afraid to go there there was a lot of heart in the original show i think it's one of the reasons why we we were at the time the only you know disney channel show to ever win an emmy i think maybe we still are but um 
uh, we, we did that because we really, we, we took seriously the problems the kids were dealing with it. We didn't dumb it down for them. And um, we're seeking to do that again with, uh, with this new show. Absolutely. And Janice, you know, again, um, what are you doing to make sure, you know, it's a different world a little bit than when David was a little and you have social media. What are you doing to stay grounded and to protect your mental health? You know, because social media can be great, but social media can also be a little challenging. What are you doing to make sure that you stay in your body and that, you know, you make sure that you take care of yourself and that this is a positive thing all around for you? I'm just kind of not paying attention attention to it <laughs> really um i mean what people say again like this is advice that selena told me it does not matter what other people are saying about me but what matters is what i'm saying to myself when i look inside the mirror so i think what i'm doing is just making sure that i stay in you know my word praying and you know just really focusing on myself and not other people and just focusing on my family really not what other people say it's it's other people, you know, I understand sometimes, you know, they may do it because they may feel some type of way about their life. So I just kind of, you know, say a little prayer for them and move on, you know, just no need, no reason to really fester on it and really take in what they're saying because nine times out of 10, it's not even true. So Absolutely. that's great advice. And I love this for you. And I think this is so much fun. And why this may be focused on younger people is perfectly and a lot of fun for older people to watch as well. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck Thank with you. this. Love this. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, it's Kathy Woods with the Philadelphia Tribune. How is everybody today? Great. 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 So let's talk about this. This is such an iconic television show that this is a spinoff and that a lot of people grew up on. Um, how did you prepare for the role and did you get a chance to see, you know, the fur, I mean, the original series? Let's start with you, Max. Uh, yeah, well, it all kind of bunched together because I, I'd, I'd heard of the show before, but once I got the role, I was like, oh my God, I have to watch this. So I kind of watched the whole thing. I just binge watched it. I got through everything. And I think part of the show that helped me is that it kind of seeing Max, I realized Max is kind of like Milo because I was on the fence. Is Milo smart? Is he not too smart? Is he, is he athletic? Is he not too athletic? And I kind of realized when I was looking at, when I was watching all the episodes that Milo is very much like Max and it helped me understand my character just to get almost like a role model for, a role model for how I'm supposed to portray my character. Absolutely. What about um, you, Taylor? Okay. What, what do you guys think? You know, because again, this is such a huge part of people's childhoods. A lot of people became uh, fans of Selena through that show. So talk a little bit what that was like. Um, Taylor, what do you want to say in terms of like being a part of this iconic franchise? Um, I'm so honored and I'm, I'm just, I, I'm, I know I'm so blessed. Um, I think I I have I have I know a lot of people are expecting a lot from this and I'm I'm really hoping I can live up to everyone's expectations as in regards to the show and I'm just I'm I feel like I realize that um the this the show this franchise already has like a huge fan base and so coming into this like I'm brand new to it but Everyone is, everyone already knows, like, the storyline, and everyone's already super big fans, so that's just, like, the the fans really, like, welcomed me into this whole thing. Fantastic. And, Akaya, what would you say? Because, again, one thing about your character, you're a little bit more skeptical. You're a little bit more, you're a lot like your dad you know what i mean you you you're like you just want your own room but you didn't want all these other things so talk about that you know being the guy that's a little bit like you're 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 not so much on board with this whole wizardry thing yeah he's definitely uh shoved outside of his comfort zone and he doesn't like that um when when billy comes in she's putting him in all of these different situations that he hasn't experienced before and so he doesn't really know what to do. He's always solved every problem the same way. And now there's something completely new um, that he has to navigate. Perfect. Now, there are not a lot of shows um, 
for young people. You know, you have a couple other ones, but what is it that you want your show to be? Because, you know, it's important to have television shows where kids can see themselves or their imagination can be inspired. So what you want to say to, you know, the new generation of kids that may have never seen um, the original show about just having something for them, anyone, feel free to go. Um, I, I think a lot of, a lot of the things that I would really love for, you know, this new generation to see is just the, the, the themes, the heartwarming themes like family and love and just always being there for one another. And then another thing that I think new audiences will really love is just the, the magic. It's, it's magical. And I think it's all the, all the adventures that every character goes on it, it it's different every episode and it's just so much fun absolutely well guys it was so much fun chatting with you guys today um i was a huge fan of the original one and i think you get you did the franchise justice thank you so much for your time today thank you thank you, thank you.